In this episode, we'll examine a second apparition of the Blessed Mary, and that is the apparition of La Salette. Whilst the apparition is shorter, however, the messages of this particular apparition are quite dire and very frightening for our world. Welcome to Regina Decor Carmeli.faith, Educating for Eternity. La Salette is located in southeastern France. On the 19th of September in 1846, two children by the name of Melanie, as well as Maximin, were tending cattle on the mountain of La Salette in France. The two children saw a beautiful lady watching them with arms crossed. The children also witnessed the lady had shed tears. And following this, she shared separate secrets with them. A number of the prophecies made by Our Lady to the children are about some crisis in the church. She prophesied the imprisonment of Pius IX during the upheaval in Italy between 1850 and 1860. He was in prison in the Vatican. But the following are a dire warning for our times. And I will read these out to you. Quote, the priest, ministers of my son, the priest, by their bad life, by their irreverences and their impiety in celebrating the holy mysteries, by love of money, love of honour and pleasures, the priest have become cesspools of impurity. Yes, the priests are asking for vengeance. Vengeance is suspended over their heads. Woe to the priest and to persons consecrated to God who by their infidelities and their bad life are crucifying anew, my son. God is going to strike in a manner without example. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. God is going to exhaust his wrath and no one will be able to take himself away from so many afflictions combined. In the year 1864, Lucifer with a great number of demons will be unleashed from hell. They will abolish the faith little by little and even in persons consecrated to God. They will blind them in such a way that barring a particular grace, these persons will take on the spirit of these bad angels. Several religious houses will lose the faith. Bad books will abound on earth. And the spirit of darkness will spread everywhere, a universal suckening in all that concerned the service of God. They will have a very great power over nature. There will be churches to serve these spirits. Civil rulers will have all one same design, which will be to abolish and make disappear all religious principle in order to make way for materialism, atheism, spiritualism, and all kinds of vices. Nature is asking for vengeance for men, and she shudders with terror in waiting for that which must come upon the earth, soiled with crimes. Our Lady also mentions the coming of the Antichrist, that nature, the, the sun, the moon, the earth, earthquakes, everything will change and produce disasters and unusual activity. And she also says that Rome will lose the faith and become the seat of the Antichrist. This is quite a profound prophecy from the Blessed Virgin Mary. She also speaks of Enoch and Elias who will come to battle the Antichrist. It's really cataclysmic, isn't it? These are the messages in summary. The apparitions were authenticated by the bishop on May the 1st in 1851. Our Lady of La Salette is reminding the world some very important ways of living our lives. Prayer and fasting, observing the sacraments, reconciliation and holy communion, attending mass at least on Sunday, living a moral life pleasing to God and modelling her and her son and Saint Joseph and all the saints. Are these warnings? Yes, of course they are. But remember that these warnings, we are given hope because we know that the victory will always be God's, but we are in a battle and the choice 
is on us. We must make the choice of which side of the battle that we want to be. Do we go, when the warnings are there, do we go with those warnings? Do we go with those people or, or situations that Our Lady talks about? Or do we maintain what has always been given to us through the church by being loyal to her church? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in today. It is quite a horrific apparition and the messages are quite strong and they're quite frightening. If this episode has helped you in some way in your faith and understanding, we wish you to subscribe and we invite you to subscribe to our channel. We also please follow us on our social media platform. God be with you and see you next time.